I am creating a review site with a custom asset within Brizzy Cloud and everything I am doing for the top, I want to be dynamic. I want to bring in the genre here, but instead of having to type in each and every time, let's do it dynamically. I'll go to my project, to the CMS, and you will see that I've created over here my custom asset, which is reviews. Click on the configure and then scroll to the bottom. And here you have a field called select. I'll click on it. And then to put up the parameters for that, click on the select and then go to the icon on the left in the toolbar. Next to the label, I will call the genre and you can add a description. It is required and you can also add a placeholder. Choose an option is good for me. Next to select, click on the drop down and then where it says add new, let's type in a genre like horror and then click on the plus. Add another one, add new, fantasy, click on the plus. Next one, thriller. And you get the idea. That's what you do. You keep going through this and keep adding new ones. When you're done, you can click outside or you can just go ahead and click on save and finish. And this is very important that you click on save and finish. You may exit. It's not going to warn you that you haven't locked this in. Now we need to go and choose that genre within the asset we've created. Click on reviews or the asset you have here. And then here, I will select Avenger Infinity War. It should be Avengers. Let's just quickly change that. And you can see we have here at the bottom now this additional field called genre. Choose an option and I will put it on fantasy, could be adventure as well, and select update. Now that we've created this, we have to go and also create that within the builder. Click on edit. The select option will always be a text element. Go to add elements and look for text. Click hold and drag and I'll drop it here. Select it. Go to T for topography. And here where you see the three disks of dynamic content. Click on that and we look for genre. It appears here. Select that. And it populates already with the one that we've selected in the fields. And you can style it out now here. I think 16 is fine. Let's put it on purple color just to make it different. Update, and you can preview it on the front end. And that's how you work with the select option in the custom fields for any asset that you build out to bring in dynamic content to your posts. For more videos on blogging, make sure to subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Also check out the playlist on the Brizzy Cloud Crash course for blogging that includes all of this and how to create assets.